the KX News Storm Team. Well, we start looking at our live shot uh, from the KX studios in Bismarck. Temperature 58 degrees, which is way below normal. Northeast wind is down to 10 miles an hour. Humidity is up there, though, 90%. In Minot, yeah, it's cloudy. The temperature 59 degrees. North wind at uh, 14 miles an hour. The humidity is 77%. Looking around western North Dakota, 50s uh, for most everybody. Up in Botno, it is 60 degrees. And uh, looks like Ashley, kind of the hot spot right now at 68. And the wind is roughly 5 to 15 miles an hour, mostly 10 to 15, but there's some spots a little bit under 10 miles an hour. And looking at our radar, and there was a tiny little bit of rain that just kind of scooted right through uh, western Mandan. It's kind of heading up towards uh, northeast right now, and not very heavy. And by 6 o'clock, most of that should be off to the east. That's not to say there won't be a sprinkle here or there. Still possible, a few thunderstorms well off to the east uh, around I-94 towards the Fargo area by tonight. And during the overnight hours into tomorrow morning, it should be fairly cloudy to start the day, and uh, we'll have a northerly wind. Notice these uh, little bits of green right here. That tells me we have at least a chance of rain tomorrow. Not a good chance, but it's a chance. And then that kind of little bit uh, starts working its way to the northeast, but it never does look like it's going to be widespread. So I think most of us will stay dry tomorrow. And then uh, as we get into uh, Saturday morning around 6 o'clock, and it uh, looks like a, a little stronger uh, disturbance, if you want to call it that, or, or if I call it that, uh, will be in eastern Montana and western North Dakota early Saturday morning. Now, the timing on this might be off a little bit. It might take a little bit longer to get here than this computer model says. But uh, we are seeing definite signs that this is going to be our best chance for rain in the next couple of days. So here we are Saturday morning at 6. Watch how it goes through Bismarck uh, by, uh, during the morning hours into the afternoon. And uh, don't forget, the Bismarck uh, Marathon is happening, and so going to be people either running or watching are going to be dealing with that, and then maybe some rain off to the northwest. I don't think it's going to be real heavy, and it should get through the north central by late afternoon into the evening hours. So as we look at the next 72 hours for Dickinson, looks like we'll be in the upper 60s to around 70 degrees or so, and then uh, Sunday warms up to the upper 70s, but a pretty decent chance of rain in Dickinson Friday night into Saturday morning. Those odds, we might even bump up those odds uh, tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see when the new data comes in. And then for uh, Williston, looks like the better chance of rain is going to be on Saturday. Ag again, I don't think it's going to be heavy or anything like that, but still that chance of rain. So uh, some things to do this weekend, and I mentioned it earlier, it's the Bismarck Marathon, and Saturday, the start and finish line will be at Cottonwood Park if you're going to go out and watch uh, or run marathon half marathon and the marathon relay begins at 7:30. the 10k starts at 10 and if you're going to go I would suggest that you have your at least an umbrella or a rain jacket with you because it does look like rain at this point in time uh, the, again the marathon starts at 7:30, and I think it's likely going to be raining at 7:30 on Saturday and possibly raining at 12 noon and uh, just in case you're wondering, that's Joel. Yeah, Joel's running in this, uh, this weekend, along with thousands of others. So I uh, just wanted to point that out. So low temperatures tonight are going to be uh, in the upper 40s to some low 50s. And then for tomorrow, back into the 50s and 60s. And the Bismarck seven-day outlook, yeah, it's going to warm up for a couple of more days. Here we are Sunday and Monday. It is going to warm up. Same thing for the Minot area. It is going to warm up. But next week when fall uh, begins on Thursday, Joel, it is going to feel like fall. That's quite the drop off in a few days, 20 to 30 degrees. That's a, that's a real swing next week. It's a big drop in a few days, yeah. Thank you so much, Tom. Next